this is Sonia. I just wanted to do just a quick review of some pens that I bought and show how I am storing all my supplies. So, um, first off, I went to Big Lots and got some of these tags, which I'll use my craft glue on and make into post-it notes. I got these Martha Stewart spirals. They were a dollar on clearance. Um, I thought that they might fit in the drop pad of the Flex, but they don't, um, which, I mean, I had it with me, so I could tell that right away, but they were still a dollar, so I picked them up. Um, then I have the, I couponed all these pens, so they're nothing super special, but I got these, um, I had a $5 uh, off at CVS, so these two friction pens were um, four fifty. so I got them for free, the package. And I'm trying to love friction. Everybody loves friction. I bought these two, the purple and blue, in Canada. And the pink one lasted three days. The purple one lasted maybe seven days. Um, and I'm talking like writing 6 p.m. dinner in my planner. Um, I mean, I maybe wrote 10 letters or something like like alphabetic letters so there's no reason that these things ran out except that I don't know maybe they're not as good as everyone thinks or hate me so I'm, I'm trying to give them a second chance and hope that maybe I just got two duds so I bought these black friction pens and they seem to be different than these that I bought um, when these wrote they definitely wrote better than these black ones the black ones erase well but they um, I don't know, They, the ink doesn't stick as well to the paper, there's like whites showing through, so I'm, I'm glad I got them for free, um, I wouldn't buy them again. Uh, the Big For Her, they were on sale $2 off at Staples, and then I had a dollar coupon, so I got these um, for, I think, $2.00. Per package so and I already have another package I'm gonna give one to my friend and I'm gonna keep another one for myself these write fantastic love them uh, definitely one of my favorites and then I had a 50% off coupon um, for ink joy pens and these were on sale for a couple dollars at Staples so with the 50% off I think I got them for like two bucks for these four and they're just I mean they're normal um, normal pens they're not anything special but you know if you've got coupons and pens are free lots of fun um, so this tray my mom bought for me a while ago so I just keep it on top of my ottoman but I wanted to also show my storage so I live in a tiny house I don't have a room for my storage so I've kind of set up this ottoman with all my supplies uh, so over here I've got my paper cutter and my crocodile in a little um, container that fold that folds out to put things in. I've got my extra notebooks over here and in this tin I've got my washi tape rolls. I've got some stamp pads. So this is the, some supplies to use in my file effects or maybe make a couple quick scrapbook pages but not you know anything big or detailed. All the rest of that stuff is in the basement. Um, but I've got my post-its here and um, my Martha Stewart and Avery tabs in here and in here I've got all my assorted flags and then I recycled a um, hardware tin and put uh, like stamp pads and a couple stamps in there back here I've got all my full adhesive post-it notes and then in this bag I have my Remarks sticker, sticker books. Um, I really like the Remarks by American Crafts. Yeah, American Crafts. And I've got my smash books that I rip pages out of, my magnetic clips, some glue, extra pens here. In here I've got some stickers. And in this bag I have some crayons and some extra like I don't know what's in there, uh, hardware type stuff. And then in this bag, I have all my non-sticky papers, which of course I use my glue pen to turn into post-its, but um, so the papers from my mouse pad, all the notepads that I bought, and then back here I just have more stamps. So I've got this, you know, here in my living room, and I 
can open it up, do a couple things and put it away at the end of the day. And that's where I'm storing all my stuff right now. Thanks for watching.